Let's get this figured out This rug gon' give me whatever I need until I get this vision out Then they gon' pay me whatever I ask cause I got it figured out Tell me be checking all up on a nigga to see how I'm feeling now Damn me love to see a nigga really make a killing now I put a lock on the game and I hide the code in the keys I am not playing no games, I really play this shit for peeps Madden Heads YouTube. What's going on? It is your boy, Coach DC, coming back at you today with another video. And today we're going to talk a little bit about the running game. You know, I've, I've seen um, some people say that they're struggling with the run a little bit, I guess because of the, the uh, stiff nature <laughs> of the movement or whatever. Um, but you know, the, the more I get into it, you know, the, I, I, I can kind of see why the game moves the way it does this particular Madden anyway. And the differences from the college, we just, like I said, we just have to understand the differences between the two games. Um, the speed of the college makes the responsiveness adequate. The speed of this game makes the, you know, what you're able to do with the running backs adequate. Your mechanics just have to really be in order. Um to get the best out of the run game here because it's, it's I mean, you know, you still have the, you know, the, the guy from the Jets, I, mean, I think it's Brees Hall, or, you know, you still have some guys on here that can do some, some of the crazy stuff. But if you just have a, a, a pretty much an agile running back, doesn't really have to be all that fast. If he's agile and has a decent uh, change of direction, you can get some of the crazy responsiveness because Cook, man, Cook, like I said, he'd be out here cooking for real, like straight up. Like he, he is foot in the ground, cuts, physicality, you know what I mean? So it, it's ways to get it done. Um, that's, that's coming up in the next virtual, which will be probably later today um, with, you know, getting into the running game. And, and as a bonus caveat into the, the next two virtuals that are coming on Madden, like, I'm gonna have like offensive line mechanics mixed into both of those videos. So I'm just gonna kind of morph those into one and the same because I don't feel like doing four different videos. So um, looking forward to that. Um, but yeah, man, it's, it's, and it's a lot of patience that's involved um, in the run game on this particular, on this particular Madden because it's just like you, you have to really be able to read that first gap you know, and have the patience to kind of let it develop. I think a lot of times we, in, in these games, we get caught up, we run in front of our blockers as opposed to letting our blockers, you know, get out in front of us and, and do their thing. You know, if you have enough patience and, and anticipation and you can let the blockers get out in front, even, even if they're not drive blocking necessarily, you know, they're just a, a, like a, a, a a roadblock or whatever you know between you and the defender and so you just have to kind of use the the leverage of the direction that they're going in and use it to cut back against that you know what i mean so it's like yeah i see them cutting me off why in the world would i run all the way to them that's crazy no i have to be able to put my foot in the ground even on a lot of the halfback screens you have to see that 66 he never blocked him but he did enough he got in the way enough and so the fact that he was trying to avoid him helped me get into the end zone just by slowing up to allow 66 to be big you know what i mean and so um i use a lot of motion even in my run game you know i use motion in my pass game but i use motion in the run game because it makes it all um makes it all look the same and so the case in point right there let those blockers get out in front and do their thing. I had three three really good seal blocks all at one time right there. It allowed me to get, you know, inside and back out, you know, clean. And so, again, you just have to have the patience. You have to know how to pace yourself. I had a, a virtual on that um, in the last Madden uh, talking about pacing when it came to, came to the running game. And a lot of that is still... It's the same on this particular game. Although in this game, there are some like some little, little idiosyncrasies and stuff that I've kind of figured out. Um, like just 
being able to change direction and, and break tackles and, and just to prepare yourself to get tackled, you know, so that you can kind of slip a lot of a lot of the tackles and get those extra little yards falling forward. Like, watch this. Uh, that that was a crazy move right there. If you you really go back and look at it, but. The juke is still in effect. Trust me when I tell you, you can still juke and juke effectively. It's just different ways to do it. Sometimes it's just, you have to, like I said, it's the difference between roll cuts and hard cuts. Um, you know, on this, a lot of this game, again, it's just patience. Let the blockers get out in front. Let them, sometimes, yeah, a lot of times they're not going to block at all. This is Madden. Come on. But if you just let them, like I said, get out there and be enough of a determined or yeah, is that a word? I don't know, but yeah, yeah, if they get in the way enough, but you can still, like I said, you can still put your foot in the ground. You can still get busy on here and it does not have to be like a superstar back. Sometimes the best moves are no moves at all. Just stay on that straight line. This is definitely more a North and South running game than, than the college is or then is the college. Yeah, that sounded better. Um, but, yeah, that, that comes with patience. So if it's more north and south, you're going to have to be a little bit more patient on this particular game. On the college game, man, you could just, yeah, you get an open field, man. You could just do some stuff. I guess that's why it's more fun. And that, that, that brings me to my next point with this game. See, even, um, let me get back. No, right there. That's a case in point of knowing when to use enough speed, but not too much speed to where I ran myself out of bounds. I had to, you know, learn to let up off the throttle a little bit. Sometimes you have to get that blocking in order. Man, there are some, there's some stuff on this game when it comes to the blocking, man. I mean, like some big differences from any year that we've had. And so I'm looking forward to showing y'all that. But again, it's patience, man patience knowing when to turn it on turn it off turn it back on you know get to where you need to get it doesn't have to be all the fancy juke moves where you you know you jump in eight ten yards sideways and six to seven yards back the other way on the next juke yeah blow your knees out doing that but you gotta have fun playing this stuff man that's that's one thing i, I want to encourage everybody to do man have fun playing this stuff get get your mechanics bibles get your college football guides get a virtual get a session man get why play this game and not have fun or why just sit and complain about it there is defense to be played it just may not be the defense that you're playing or that you want to play but it's defense to be played on this game man i don't i i just can't see anybody dropping a whole bunch of points on me like yeah, it's, it's sometimes you got to control the clock. <laughs> your offense can be your defense at times, but it's for real. It's man, it, it's it's defense to be played on this game. Are the zones, yeah, third downs on the zones are terrible, absolutely. But again, it, that's what switch stick is for. It's like that's what I'm learning now. It's like I'm learning. I'm like okay, you know, I'm I'm learning to cover, you know, CYA however it goes on the field and it's like okay i know that on third downs my deep blues kind of dumb out and so i just make sure okay maybe i'm a switch stick to this side this is where he has the receivers at let me get over there on this side let me just make sure i play it you know and, and if he hits me somewhere else then so be it but gotta have fun playing this stuff man because i'm telling you it's it's like the mechanics man the mechanics make the game fun win lose or draw it, it really does i'm 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 always going to have fun playing this game because I can create the animations that I want. I can do the things that that I see and that I want to do. You know, sometimes they work. Sometimes they don't. Most times they work. But even on defense. Yeah, you can you can get these spec catches on defense. I'm telling you, you can. It's it's a lot of stuff that people don't know. And we complain about it. But my thing is. Man, find the solution. I'm, I'm telling y'all where the solutions are. The solutions are in the mechanics. If you don't, if you doubt it, read the reviews. I'm serious. Go on the Coach DC 404 site. Read the reviews. It's a whole bunch of them. You can read them from, from years past. 
and you can see it in the work. You can see it in the results in what we, what we put on film. You know what I'm saying? So it's it it can be done. Let's just not say it can't be done. Can it be done consistently? Yeah, it can be. Absolutely. Is the game going to be ever be perfect? No. They're doing this. They do this stuff on purpose. Y'all think every year the zones are messed up every single year when the game comes out the zones are messed up and they have to adjust the zones yeah i mean y'all y'all don't think they ever get the zones right they've never gotten them right <laughs> come on man let's let's get us some common sense thought here the games are never finished when they come out they're meeting a deadline at this point they know the games aren't going to be finished so they they just they're we're basically getting a subscription and an updated subscription as it goes along. And so, yeah, a lot of it, never mind, let me, let me stop. But again, even though, even through all that, if you're going to play it, you might as well play it and have fun. You might as well be able to do the things that you want to do when you play this game. You know what I mean? So that's to me. Yeah, I don't, I don't get so caught up in the, the BS of it anymore. Now, like I said, now I've gotten to the point where most times I can see it and just laugh at it or I can, you know, when it happens or, or I, most times I just play through it or figure out a way to play around it or figure out a way for it to stop happening most of the times. And if you're really good in a different area, then most of the times it, it doesn't bother you or affect you because either you're up or, or you just you've made enough plays but yeah man it's it's, it's like that though I, I promise you but my thing is man play and have fun with this stuff man learn these mechanics please it's your boy coach <laughs>